Okay, our next presenter is Manal. She's talking about. Uh, oh, that looks interesting. Algae, okay, and your 10 minutes starts now. Okay. So, hi everyone. Um, my name is Manal. I'm from Mongolia. And I'm in a department of life science in Suzuk Fedai campus. Today, I'm going to talk, uh, talk about uh, a research model organism called algae. So I think a lot of you have heard about algae in your high school biology lesson, right? So it's everywhere, basically everywhere. In the air, in the lake, nearby lake, in the ocean, even in the aquarium like this. So, um, so why is algae so important? So it's the algae is not, no, no, it's both animal and a plant because plant can produce its own energy by um, making a photosynthesis just like this. Here you can see a light energy and it, it can you absorb a carbon dioxide to make the energy and it can release oxygen to our air. And just like that, the green water here, which contains uh, algae, can produce the oxygen into the air, and it can also produce its own energy. So you can't see algae in the naked eye, but algae is in the ocean lakes are taking care of, care of green gases that none of the land plants combine together. It absorbs more carbon dioxide and releases more oxygen into the air. And without this one in the algae, we can't be here to we were never born because we don't have any food. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So we we won't be here. So let's go to the next. So algae, algae, algae. There are algae you might know. You know you, how many of you like on the year? Yay! So this, you know, like the seaweed, it's actually algae. And there are many kinds of algae. For example, here you can find green one, a red one, or a bean-shaped one, triangle, and alien-shaped one. <laughs> so there are many kinds of algae, but in our research we use um, Clavidomonas. So I... <laughs> It's kind of cute, you know, like, you know, call me Caitlin or call me Clammy. So um, its nickname is Clammy, but we call it Clamida monoswing in Hardia. So uh, in, under the microscope, our uh, model organism looks like this, looks like this, and I want you to pay attention in this two flagella-like flagella with a hair-like structure, and then there's this red dot. So um, what is this? So it, to know more about the clammy, you have to know three things about it. Firstly, flagellum. So basically, clammy uses this flagellum like our arms. Like when you swim, you know, in the water, you use your arms, right? Like so you clammy swims just like that. And the next one is the eye spot. You can see here the red dots. And it has the uh, light receptor and uh, you can you know, detect the light and go swim power to it. And the next one is a chloroplast. It's just a solar panel in clammy, in its body. So, um, so plants are green, algae are green, because it has a chloroplast, which is green. So I thought, what if we humans have a chloroplast in our body? Any ideas? Any ideas? Imagine in your minds. We, we didn't have to get. Oh. Yeah, yeah, of we course. But win. what what would we look like uh, if we have green? Green, <laughs> green, right? Yeah, like an avatar, or maybe. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just gonna look like that. Yo, so let's go to the, our story. So clammy. We can't see the clammy in our naked eyes, but they, they are unicellular uh, microorganisms, which you can see here. They're actually pretty fast, a lot of them. And as, just as I told you before, they can use the uh, use the flagella to swim, just like that. You know? And you know, you might think that, okay, there is an algae. 
energy, it can produce its own energy, it can move, and what? One of my pre presenter friends um, asked me that, so I thought, nice that. Well, when I first started my research, I asked the same question. What's about the algae? What's more important about it? But I found that there are flagella in plants, in animals, and in our bodies. And they have all the same structure. So I want you to keep that in mind. And the next one, here is a video of Kwame, Squimi, and you can see the red eye spot here, and it has the photoreceptors, which it releases ions to give a signal when the light hits them. So with this two, so let's see. Um, how many of you like oh, like him? You know, like we are attracted to him, algae is attracted to the light. So let's get this him here. And they change their directions to swim for the light. Just like you like him. And okay. So here is the, uh, another video, and I want you to pay attention on the count 70 here. It, uh, the flashlight hit the algae, and it's, it's going to get panicked, and it's going to change its flagella motion. So I want you to pay attention. Oh god, no. Um, okay, anyhow, it's going to change the direction. I'm going to you see the boom again. So, I, like I told you before, we have flagella in all our body. For example, <coughs> here's the sperm, and it has this flagella here, the singular flagella, and its structure is just like ours. What the proteins that are used to uh, use to move the steam is the same as a, in chlamydomonas. And again, and there's a um, uh, flagella in our uh, throat too, to make, if the unwanted bacteria comes into our throat, the throat flagella moves, moves and make that uh, bacteria out of our, our body. So, um, and there are so many couples who can't have a baby because the sperm don't move properly. It has a disorder, and they can't have a baby. But what if we use clammy? Because this flagella is just like same as a hey. thank you. It's the same as a clammy flagella. So if we find that gene that controls the movement, that, that regulates the protein to move the steam, we can we might cure the diseases that causes um, disorder in flagella movement in our body. And there are another application. So you all know biodiesel production, right? So um, biodiesel is the next you know, like a energy producer. And here you see algae. And they culture a tons of algae in a tank. And they extract the oil from it. But first, uh, they have to collect the algae from the, its culture liquid. And in here, they, so th there are lots of liquid here, and they use energy to collect the algae, the biomass, and then they they will um, press, they will give pressure and extract the oil. But the biodiesel is all about saving energy. What? And if we use uh, energy here, there's no point in uh, using biodiesel. So. In our laboratory, we um, found out this chemical. And usually, chlamydomonas are, will uh, swim toward the light, as you can see here. And, but uh, to add a certain chemical in chlamydomonas, they're going to avoid the light. They're going to have, 
there, there's something revelating in that chemical, chemical that makes the uh, chlamydia to avoid the light. So in only in 10 minutes, the chlamydia concentration is 10 times than in the red one. And in that way, we can uh, collect... 10 minutes is up. Oh, okay. what a shame. Okay. 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 Okay.